Hello everyone! This is a quick tutorial on how to make a simple bracer using craft foam and warbla with the fold over technique. So it's going to look like this. I've already gone and cut out the shape. It's a fairly simple shape with a little bit of detail here at the side. So first step is to take a look at your warbla and you'll notice that there is a shiny side and a not so shiny side. I like to draw on the shiny side because that's the side that has the glue on it. Lay your warbler down on the table, put your shape on it, and trace around it. Four sides. And because this is the fold over method, we want a little bit extra along each one so that way we can fold it over. So once you're happy with it and you have it drawn on, it's time to cut it out. So here we have it. This is our piece of warbler. And this is our bracer that we're going to be cutting out. The detailing is already on it because we're going to put the warbler over and it'll form to this shape so you don't need to worry about putting it on afterwards. When heating warbler, use a heat gun and do it over a surface that you don't care if it gets ruined. So this is a square of Eva foam and I use it for all my warbler purposes. This way it doesn't harm the table, the carpet, or any other surface. When heating warbler, you want to heat it until it gets slightly darker in color. This is a standard heat gun that you can get from most hardware stores. It doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be powerful, it just needs to get the job done for you. So we're going to start by heating it up. Alright, so that's heated a bit. You can see the color difference, how this is lighter and this is now darker looking. Place your bracer on here. We want the detail side facing down match it up with the square that you had drawn before and we're going to fold these pieces over. The warbler is warm after heating it. It's not particularly hot unless you overheat it. Just test it a little bit before you pick it up so that way you know you're not going to burn your hands on it. It also cools relatively quickly so if you need to heat it up a little bit more just to work with it a bit easier, that's no problem. You can heat up warblet as many times as you need. You can see our detail here is a little bit overtaken by it. We just want to take the time and press so the warblet fits itself in along the edge of our detail. So this was achieved by putting the foam over top of the main piece before we put the warbler on. You can also do something similar with extra bits of foam, wrap it around this and then put it onto the bracer. This will give a more puffed up look than this one right here depending on how much you want the detail to stand out. Another option, if you don't want to use foam at all, is just pure warbler detail. We can put this strip of warbler along the bottom. So let's do that so we've got some detail on the bottom of our bracer. When sticking two pieces of warbler together, you want to make sure that both pieces have been heated up. The piece that is to be stuck on, as well as the piece that it is being stuck to. Okay, so here's the three methods for adding bits of detail edging to your bracer. You can choose whichever one you prefer. It's already still pretty warm, but I'm going to heat it a little bit more, just to be sure. Okay. Now we're going to let it cool in place. That's pretty good. We're going to let this cool down just a little bit more so it really gets nice and solid there. You can see on the back, the pieces that we've folded in, it's not going to show on the outside or get in the way at all. Warblet is great because you never have any scraps. You always have these little bits left over, but they're reusable because you can heat warbler however you like and mold it however you want. So these little pieces are going to turn into some detailing for our bracer. So clump them all together and start heating. Now these ones are meant to be hot, so when you work with them, be careful not to burn your fingers. Now you can make the warbler noodle as thick or as thin as you want. In this case, I'd like it to be rather thin since we're going to be doing small detail work. If you need to reheat it at any point, go ahead. 
So those extra bits of scrap have now given us this Warbler noodle. And I'm going to use it to make a heart right here in the middle of our bracer. We're going to heat up the noodle again, as well as a little bit right here on the bracer, so that way it sticks. Now we take the noodle and we carefully follow the design to take a look at it, make sure it's even, maybe change the shape a little bit if we notice that it's not. If you get an air bubble, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. You can take a regular sewing pin, poke it into the warbler, right where the bubble is, push the air out, flatten it down, no more air bubble. And there you have it, our new beautiful bracer. This is ready for priming and painting. Thanks for watching.